cooking journey. Delta. They're very famous for their fermented fishes. And Toto and Zhang is the best place to buy them. As you can see around me, this whole street, they sell more than 25 kinds of fermented fishes. And for lunch today, I'm going to use this incredible ingredient to make a traditional dish. In this area, Basa catfish is also a very famous fish. Oh, as you can see, they're still alive and very fresh. Very strong as well. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> the market in the morning is so busy. I'm done shopping for my ingredients. Let's start cooking now. I'm on a floating cabin belonging to a local family. They're living on a boat right behind me on Mekong River. And I'm doing my vegetable preparations. And this is the biggest vegetable basket I've ever seen. I have more than 15 kinds of vegetables. I found these beautiful flowers this morning when picking the water lily. This flower is very typical in the Mekong River Delta area. Start cooking. Ha! Finally, I have all the ingredients for my fermented fishes hot pot for today. First of all, I need to heat up my liquid and I use coconut water for the liquid because this is the coconut plant. We have to wait for the coconut water to boil before adding the fermented fishes. So, meanwhile, I will prepare my um, pork belly. I need to chop some chili for that. And we also need a lot of lemongrass. Chop them all together. This will give them uh, the pork belly an amazing taste. Add in the pan some oil and then we have to stir fry some garlic. And here come the pork belly. 
we just have to stir fry it until the the pork is it's cooked. You don't have to make it golden or anything. The pork belly will give my hot pot more fatty taste. I already marinated some sugar inside the pork belly before I cooked it. The sugar will help the fat become clear when, when it's cooked. Ah, it smells so good. I'm getting hungry. This is my first time cooking on a boat. This is such an amazing experience. The pork belly is almost done. Just five more minutes. I'll add in some more sugar. This is Nippa Palm sugar, a very special ingredient here in this area. The pork is done, so now I'm gonna continue making my hot pot. The coconut water is fully boiled. Now I'm gonna add the fermented fish. We have to cook the fermented fishes until they dissolve into the water and then we gonna strain it to get the liquid. It'll take about 10-15 minutes. Now I'm gonna strain to get only the liquid for my hot pot because we don't want all the bones inside. I use galin and gasa. These two are the traditional fermented fishes that we use for this type of hot pot. And it tastes really good together, I promise. Okay. See how many bones are there in the fish? We don't want it in, the, in our hot pot. Now we need to add the pork belly. This will give the hot pot the fatty taste. That's what we want. Now we're going to add the basa fish inside the hot pot. This fish is a very famous fish of the Mekong River Delta. The meat of this fish is very sweet and fatty. So it's going to be amazing with this hot pot. Finally, I'm going to add um, the eggplant. And all we need to do is wait until it's boiled again and the hot pot is done. Can't wait, I'm so hungry. It's sunset now and my hot pot is finally done. So all we need to do now is eat. Yay! We gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it with some vermicelli. I'm gonna add in some prawns because I love prawns. I'm gonna add a bit of everything. Beautiful flowers. Put it in there. And this is the water lily. Put it all in there. It tastes so good with the hot pot. In Vietnamese cuisine, we eat a lot of salad with mostly everything. In this basket, I have more than three kinds of flowers and 12 kinds of vegetables. And they all taste amazing. It will only take about one minute for everything to nicely cook. Then I can enjoy it. Yes! Mmm, smells so good. Oh.
all of the hard work have been paid off. Look at this. Beautiful green things. And the basa fish. The meat is so soft and sweet at the same time. Mm. And with the sunset, this is perfect. This is a perfect hot pot for the sunset. So good! The fermented fish have a very unique taste. And when they combine together, I don't know how to describe it. You have to try it by yourself. So, come to Anzan. Enjoy this amazing fermented fish hot pot. I'm so happy right now.